the window and glinted across the thick metal latch on the box. Like lightning, the idea came into her head, and before she had time to really think it over or through, she called out, boy, get in here. This was her chance to finally get rid of him. He walked in, his blue eyes shining. And even with all the dirt and the sweat from the garden, he was still beautiful. Boy, he looked at her and rubbed the bruise she had put on his arm earlier that day. Boy, I have a treat for you. There's an apple with a worm in it. I saved it for you. He looked at her and walked over to the chest. Do not touch my chest. <laughs> she went over and lifted that metal latch, and it sliced her finger just a little bit. The blood was sweet and salty in her mouth. She used her weight to lift the oak lid. He reached in with his hand. Do not touch my apples. He stuck his head in. And when the sun shone upon the back of his hairline, she folded down that latch and brought the lid down hard on the back of his neck. His head rolled into the chest, staining the inside of the chest and all of those apples with a deep, deep red. She looked at the pool forming by her feet. Oh, that has made a mess. <laughs> Your father will not be pleased. And she began working out her next plan. <laughs>